Hi, it's Dr. L and I'm going to show you the first uh, step in the transformation experiment that you are doing for Genetics Lab. In this experiment, the goal is to take two strains of Acinetobacter calcoacidicus, a naturally competent bacterium. One strain is STRR and the other is SDRS. The SDRR strain is carrying the AD2, AAD2 gene, which confers streptomycin resistance. The STRS, or susceptible strain, lacks that gene. To start this experiment, um, you can take a look and see the different pieces of equipment that we have and the different supplies. So what we have is an auger plate labeled HI for heart infusion. It's a growth medium that Acinetobacter species like to grow on. We have a plate that has growing cells. You can see them kind of like the film there, right? Of Acinetobacter calcoacidicus labeled STRS. That's the susceptible AAD2 gene lacking isolate or strain, not isolate. And then we have a plate that also has cells growing on it. You can see the film through here. And it's the SDRR strain, and it has the AAD2 gene. You also have a small tube labeled SDS, or sodium dodecyl sulfate, and it's a detergent, and we're gonna be using it to kill some of the cells from the resistant strain. We have Sharpie markers for labeling. We have an inoculating loop. Notice the circle on the end. And we have a striker to light the Bunsen burner and a Bunsen burner. So I'm gonna start the lab by taking the culture of STRR, the AAD2 containing strain, taking the SDS2, getting those in front of me, and I'm going to turn the Bunsen burner on. I'm turning the gas on and I'm striking the burner. This is so I can use aseptic technique, which means I'm not introducing any new organisms into anything at all, keeping things just as they are now. I'm gonna flame my inoculating loop, which I do by holding it in the Bunsen burner until it is red hot. Let me get a little bit closer here to show this. Right, you can see that the loop is getting red hot and that's sterilizing it. Apologize for my finger there. So I get that red hot. Then I take my plate of SGRR, cool the loop. And then I'm gonna gather up some cells by scooping them up a little bit, a little ball of cells, a little goes a long way. So about, let's see, I don't know if the camera's gonna actually focus on that, but there are some cells there. They're white and filmy. And then I'm going to dispense them into this tube by putting the loop in and doing this kind of whittling shakes all the cells off into the tube. I cap the SDS tube and this is contaminated now so I flame it. And once it gets red hot burning off any cells or SDS on the end of it I can lay that down. I'm going to turn my Bunsen burner off and then I'm going to take this tube which contains strep resistant Acinetobacter calcoacidicus Included in the genome is the AAD2 gene, and it's in a solution of SDS, which is a harsh detergent. These cells are not happy right now, and so what's going to happen is they're going to die. And when they die, they're going to lyse, and the DNA from within them is going to burst out. So this is essentially the first step in a genomic DNA extraction. The SDS alone was not sufficient. So we're gonna actually take this tube and we're gonna incubate it in a water bath. Let me show you the water bath that we have in the room. It's set to about 65, well, between 60 and 65 degrees. 
So the tube is going to go into a rack and then that goes into 